الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله استدعاس الله أكبر الله أكبر انفجارات رهيبة جدا جدا الله أكبر الله أكبر Cameras capture the rescue effort. One is taken by an object on the skyline. Here the images of bombardment. الله أكبر كتاب نور الدين سينكي جبهة معارة الأرتيخ الله أكبر الله أكبر تجمع كتاب نور الدين Thanks so much for joining me. First of all, tell me what you know about what happened with that supposed missile. Uh, President Obama trying to, uh, to start a war with Iran. 
Uh, the Pleiadians downed the missile uh, harmlessly at sea, and then uh, last night from San Diego, our government fired another ICBM at the Pleiadians this time. But the Pleiadian ships are able to uh, change density and do all kinds of things that these guys on, on this planet have never imagined. And a rocket could pass right through them and not harm them. And plus, they can outrun it, too, if they, if they wanted to just get out of the way. But um, it, it's, it's really kind of silly to think that we can take on a race that's been around for many, many, many millions of eons longer than the reptilians. And really briefly, Colleen, um, some people might not know exactly who the Pleiadians were, so why would President Obama want to fire an ICBM at the Pleiadians? Because they're here to rescue the human beings who are being enslaved on this planet and forced into a, a paradigm of a, of, a, of a super oligarchy that favors the Bilderberg Group and the Illuminati and is completely and utterly without any conscience towards the human beings whatsoever. They poison us deliberately in order for us to have to buy pharmaceuticals so that they can string our miserable little lives along on pharmaceuticals for the rest of our, uh, uh, you know, aging days. There's no need for us to be in the kind of physical condition that we are in. But they put chemtrails uh, in collusion with BP, British Petroleum. They put chemicals in the jet fuel, and, and that jet, those chemicals end up getting sprayed in these uh, minute particulates that rain down on our food, on our crops, and in our water.